Is that Yankee stacking? Is that Silver Dragon? It is. What's up? How you doing, man? We're here at SD Bullion in wow. the warehouse. This is awesome. Well, I guess we're in the vault, really. And there's silver and gold everywhere. They have an incredible amount of cool things to see. We got 100 ounce bars. Dude. We got the maple leaves. There's, I mean, silver eagles. It just goes eagles. on and on and on. It's blowing my mind. Everywhere you look, there's silver. It's never this ending, is, right? This is a beautiful bar. Yeah, 100 wow. ounce. Man, that's gorgeous. I like the yeah. Johnson Matthews. Those are incredibly right? cool. Oh, here we go, guys. Oh, yeah. That is heavy. You are strong, bro. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's Pretty cool, silver. huh? Oh. Look at all that constitutional, baby. 90% silver right there. But that would hurt if it fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet that weighs quite a bit. And then, of course, there are beautiful small pieces of silver. Yeah, they got the big ones. They got the one ounce. They got everything here. Cowboy round. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. Love Scottsdale. Absolutely. They got some Lots other. Of Scottsdales. I know, look at all those. Do they have free samples here? No. <laughs> not with Rocco. Yeah, absolutely not. Him. What else do we got? We got Britannias. Yeah. Britannias. I mean, we got more Scottsdale. Ooh, what's the same ones or different? What are these? Uh, is that the Justice? Whoa, those are beautiful. Yeah, those are pretty sick, Man. huh? And uh, let's see, we got more of the SD Boyne exclusives right here. That's their round. What are these? I think it's the Royal Celebration Bar or something like that. And I only have one, but I bought it because there's a dragon on it. You see the dragon? Yeah, of course you would. <laughs> Oh, Libertads. Those are gorgeous. Very nice. Bags of them? I know, it's crazy, right? Yeah. And I have to say, Yankee, <laughs> meeting you for the first time here at SD Bullion, there's, it's just magical, man. It, it's been a thrill that first time seeing you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yankee, check out these what? bars right here. This is Ooh. from the Royal Canadian Mint. And this was the first 100 ounce bar I ever purchased. Really? Yeah, one of these right here. Those are awesome. I am with uh, Cole, the Chief Operating Officer, COO here at SD Bullion. Thank you so much for taking time to talk with me. Yeah, thanks for having us, Yankee. So what do you have on the bench here? We have a handful of items that may be interesting. We'll start with the probably most widely known. This is a 2024 Silver Britannia obviously coming from the Royal Mint, a mint that's been around since the 800s. So whenever you're looking for stories to tell, uh, <laughs> that's an easy one. Right next to it, we have our Tree of Life. Uh, this has a mintage every year of 250,000 capped. I love those. Really, really beautiful. And if you compare this, which we run ourselves as a custom program, part of our True Series to a Britannia, mm -hmm. I mean, there's just excellent Similar strike quality. quality. Yeah. 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 And we actually added some radial lines here in the background. Sweet. It helps the eye as well as makes the uh, any strike imperfection a little less visible and it helps you from a collector basis. Mm -hmm. Now everyone of course knows the cowboy round, round of the year in 2023. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Scottsdale went above and beyond in executing this. It kind of tells, tells the story of their brand as they've relocated to Wyoming themselves. Is, is branding a, an important aspect of stacking? Absolutely. Everyone can find a way to acquire cheap metal, cheap silver, cheap gold. There's plenty of that on the marketplace. There's going to continue to be plenty of that. Branding is paramount. Whenever you're looking to buy, you're going to have a premium. Whenever you're looking to sell, mm -hmm. there's of course going to be a premium. So branding and quality of strike and how that is going to look in a collection, uh, everyone at the end of the day is collecting and investing both. So you have a lottery ticket from a collectible perspective. Maybe that's 10% of your stack, 20% of your stack, whatever it is you want. Say you're, nope, I want all heavy metal, 
Ounces, 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 no problem. Stack for you weight, right? You still want to make sure the brand is a counterparty that you're buying. Mm -hmm. Their material is trustworthy. Right. They have the right standards in producing. They have the right supply chain. You're buying from the right retailer. All these things are really, really pertinent. Right entry point is an investor, of course, from a premium basis. So whenever we talk about brands, the Johnson Matthew brand, the Kilo Bar. Oh, that's a popular one right there. It's extremely popular, very storied history, been around for hundreds of years big market cap. They actually got out of producing finished products um, around 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they focused more on industrial use. Of course, silver demand from an industrial perspective is more than half the entire market. Right. So they said, no problem, we're going to focus on that. But they only started recently bringing back the opportunity to buy finished goods from a uh, bullion perspective. And so we're really happy to do that. We offer their silver bars. We offer their one ounce gold bars, which is a new release as of November of 2023. Uh, really beautiful. We'll show you that later. And then there's just some fun products, right? When we continue to talk about branding, this, of course, wouldn't be for everyone, Yankee. <laughs> but Trump more. it's certainly a conversation starter. Uh, I think Tim would love that one. Yeah, we have the uh, one for him. <laughs> original uh, 13 colony flag on the back. So wow. it's, just, um, it's just fun. We have here an extruded Johnson Matthew 100 ounce bar. Look at the lines on that. Just. Wow really something that as you look at it and play with it very cool it's just got such, this is probably an 80 year old bar mm -hmm. rcm hundreds talk about different right <laughs> look at this new bar bar that's been around a while but talk about pretty just massive it feels like about the size of your average new cell phone doesn't it just it does the way too big the royal canadian mint knows how to make beautiful product don't they Absolutely. And it's, these things always come in just a oh, massive premium. And then we have other very cool things. This is a vintage Inglehart bar. Uh, this particular type isn't overly difficult to find, but um, there's something cool about having a story to tell whenever you're talking about your bars. Vintage. And we have other items. This is oh, yeah. just the 2023. Everyone's seen this, the yeah. U.S. Mint set. But Those are really cool. Very yeah. nice. These do um, relatively well. We're going to be doing more things like that. Our customers, we're a U.S.-based company by the people, for the people, of the people. We're all stackers. <laughs> so we want to continue offering U.S.-based products and really stackable products from anywhere around the globe. Well, SD Bullion started from a pair of stackers, and it is continuing in that uh, focus yeah. to help stackers but these are pretty fun stuff to get absolutely and there's just a lot of different things you can do fun this is part of the awakening series this yeah. is debasement i don't know if you're familiar with the story yankee but the denarius is actually the original uh coin that started to experience debasement and degrading of the actual metal content in the coin itself this was back in the roman empire so you have right here uh, of course a symbol from the german reich uh where we saw uh, a more modern interpretation of debasement. And then you have these elements of the US dollar on there, which originally they had on the eagle. You may not have known this, the, the arrows were in the right claw of the eagle and the olive branches in the left. And our international partners, if you will, or maybe foes, considered that too aggressive of a pose. So they said, why are the arrows in the dominant hand? Let's swap it. Let's have the arrows in the passive hand. And we went back to the dominant hand. We <laughs> feel like it. that fits. And then other cool things that you'll find just on our oh, website or wow. in our vault. This is a 15-year-old just beauty. It's like opening the garage door and seeing just a pristine Dude, that is amazing. convertible. Wow. That is one chunky piece of silver right there. We had a, the kooks. a lot of these offered to us. We were happy to take them. Fresh Ooh, sheet of Libertads that just came of in. Libertads. So these are obviously two-ounce pieces. And then we have other things. This is a proof oh, set. Oh. oh, the whole series. Oh. That's fun. That's a beautiful case, too. Thanks for checking out some of the things we have to offer. There's plenty more of this on the shelves. I'm here with Kyle. Great to see you again. Hey, Yankee. How's it going? Very good. Boy, I'm looking at all the... 90% silver. As you know, Yankee, I love constitutional silver, 90% silver, and uh, finally we're able to get our hands on a lot of it again. As you know, SD Boyan loves 90% silver. Uh, it's, it's truly real money, so we always appreciate that. We know customers always appreciate that as well. Last time we were here, you demonstrated, you don't need to do that today, sure. but the, the bagger. I mean, yes. you ran all that silver through. 
yes. on that machine. That's really cool. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the Cadillac of coin sorters, of course. Uh, it does, you know, 10,000 dimes a minute. It just makes our job so much better, and it is pretty much hands-off. So Speaking really of which, I think the ladies are working on silver dimes right now. Yeah, Yankee, yeah. as you can see there, uh, you know, all over 90% gets thoroughly sorted. We like to make sure we sort out all of the nicer stuff, the older stuff. As you can see, the, these ladies right now are going through and sorting out mercury dimes. So that's a, a very popular item. Our customers love it. And so uh, we, we always got to make sure we try to have them in stock. So. Great. Well, thanks again for sharing. Of Appreciate course, anytime, it. Yankee. So this is 10-ounce uh, pant bars. All sealed up, ready to go. Yeah, I like the finish on those. Very nice. So, Yankee, there's so much to see here. Yeah. What, what are we going to do? I mean, how are we going to do this? <laughs> I don't know. It's overwhelming sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, how about if we, I don't know, split up? Okay, so like divide and conquer type thing? There you go. Okay, so... What do you think? Where do you want to go? You know what I want to do? What? After seeing your Gold Vault video, yeah. I've been dying to get into the Gold Vault. So I'm gonna go check that out. You're gonna get lost in the gold ball. Yes, aren't you? yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm dying to see SD Bullion's IRA vault. And I wanna to talk to Tyler Wall about what they're doing with that and see it because I it wasn't done last time I was here. So if people wanna go watch Yankee's video, definitely check out his channel, Yankee Stacking. You can see the IRA vault and all that kind of stuff. And if you wanna see Silver Dragons going bonkers in a gold vault, <laughs> <laughs> check out Silver Dragons channel. All right, but I'm gonna track you down, buddy. I'm, I'm definitely gonna meet up with you at the end here in that gold vault. All right, let's do it.